the ideal time to harvest a duck and have an easier time with the plucking is right at the seven week mark, right before their pin feathers come in. My ducks were getting close to eight weeks old, but they were a lot smaller than I thought they should be. Should I harvest now before the pin feathers grow in and have smaller meat yields, or wait for the ducks to grow bigger, but then have a harder time with plucking because the pin feathers grew in? To help me with that decision, I had my duck breeding friend Ray come over and take a look. What do you think of those ducklings, Ray? They're a little bit small, but I mean, they're growing good. We are about to hit eight weeks on them. Okay. I remember the picture that you shared with me, you holding that duck, and that was right at harvest size. Which that was, was about five weeks old, yeah. And that's got to be like twice the size of these guys. Yeah. Do you think you should hold off? I would hold off on butchering soon? for a while, let them get to full growth. I had the ducks for two more weeks, and in that time, they grew to a more decent size. I decided it was time for harvest. They were almost 10 weeks old by this point, so I was pretty curious how the plucking process was going to work. I gathered the ducks into a dog crate and loaded them into my truck to bring them to Ray's house for the harvest since he has the equipment. You know, I kind of don't want to kill the ducks because they're just cute. I feel you on that, buddy. I have actually a little reservation about the harvest as well. I really like the ducks. I had grown quite fond of the ducks, perhaps a little attached, so the idea of a harvest for them was a little difficult. But this is what they're here for. This is the plan, right? Yeah. Ray had the equipment all set up when we got there. I unloaded the ducks and prepared for harvest. Ray also planned to harvest one of his geese. This would not only be my first duck harvest, but also my first goose harvest. I have never harvested waterfowl before. Ray, this is your first time as well, right? It's my first time, but I did do a little bit of research this time. Uh, we're definitely using that soap in the water there to, uh, that'll help break the oils. Yeah, it help. cuts back on the oils and just helps it to be more easy to pluck. I guess the skin is a lot more tough than your regular broiler chicken. So we're actually gonna be leaving it in the hot water for about 90 seconds, and then doing a dry pluck in the plucker for about three minutes. And then you'll do a little bit of rinse afterward, but you wanna do a dry pluck, so it's a lot easier to pluck the feathers. So we got quite a bit here on the belly, but we can hand pluck that. It did take a lot of feathers off. Yeah, That's it did good. take a lot. The plucking, at first glance, appeared to be pretty successful, but upon further inspection, there were a lot of pin feathers embedded in the skin. It was quite tedious trying to remove them all by hand. We used our fingers to pluck for a while before we finally gave up and called it good enough. We've been at the plucking for a while and we're calling it. We did the best we could, but there's just too many of those little pin hairs, so we're just gonna move on to the evisceration part now. Definitely not the prettiest bird I've harvested or eviscerated, but it'll work. This is the Emden, E-M-B-D-E-N. It's just the typical, the white, basically factory, you know, meat goose. So the uh, more ideal times to uh, butcher a goose I think I read it was about 10, 15, or 20 weeks, and it's just an easier time to uh, pluck. And he's about 15 weeks about right now. We got the goose in there now. I'm pretty curious as to whether the goose is gonna be easier to pluck because it's at its ideal time, so see. It fits. It fits. <laughs> Small ones. Let me see. So some pin feathers, but not nearly as much as the ducks. Yeah. The goose was a lot easier to pluck because it was at the ideal harvest age, but also because the remaining pin feathers were much larger than the ducks and easier to pick out. The 
duck stayed in the cooler in the ice bath overnight. I bagged him up this morning. I put three in the freezer and one in the refrigerator because for dinner tonight, we're having some duck. I decided to keep it simple with the duck dinner. I made a compound butter using thyme and sage. I applied salt and peppercorn to the duck followed by the compound butter and put the duck over a bed of potatoes. I roasted the duck in an unlitted Dutch oven at 325 until done. Ooh, there it is, right out of the oven. Beautiful. We're gonna plate this up with some kale and give it a taste test. All right, little buddy. This will be your first tasting of duck. I give it a 7 out of 10. I regret roasting the entire duck. It's actually my least favorite way to eat any sort of poultry. It was good, but I prefer a seared duck breast or duck confit. The good news is I still have three more ducks to go, so next time I'll definitely be using one of those methods for dinner.